tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your mood board templates inside InDesign. And I find that InDesign is the easiest way to create these mood boards, but you know, I give you options with different files so you can choose whichever's right for you. So under the pages, you can see all the different layouts that are given in the file. So all you have to do is just choose one and click on it and it'll take you straight to that page. So we'll work with this first one here. And all you have to do is click on the shape where you want your image to be filled. Go to File, Place, choose the image that you want to be in that square, and then make sure that you hit Replace Selected Items, and then Open. And then your image gets placed inside of that shape, and then use your white selection tool, click on the image, and this will allow you to resize it to fill that shape. Okay. And you can also, if you want to crop inside here, just use that same white arrow tool, click on the image and drag. And it'll sort of instantly crop it for you. Okay. So let's do another one real quick. So just click on your shape, file, place, Choose your image, use your white arrow or shortcut key A and resize your image. You can also quickly um, add like little swatch colors on the side. So just click on the shape and fill it with whatever colors you want along the side. And you can also easily add text, just hit the type tool. Oh, it's gonna load all my fonts. <laughs> okay, so then just type in there, you know, you can delete a box if you just want space, add type. And here's also a cool trick. Um, see these white strokes around the outside of the boxes? If you don't like those, all you have to do is just drag to select all the shapes and come over, click on the little outline shape, and then click the no fill button. And those will disappear for you. So if you don't want the little white borders around the edges, that takes care of that. And if you want those back, just drag and select. Make sure that's selected and click on you know, I use white because it's easy and simple, but you could also change it to a color. Okay, and then to change the thickness of the stroke, just choose the weight. So there's like a 10. Let's change it back to white. I think it just looks better. So 10, you could do three point, and it instantly changes the size of the strokes. So once you have all those filled up as you like, uh, here's how to save it. So you go to File, Export, choose where you want it saved. I'll just save it to the desktop for now. Under Format, JPEG, which will just give you a flat JPEG file. And then hit Save. And you can choose all these if you want, you know, 300 GPI or any of that kind of stuff, and then just click export. And that should show up on your desktop as a JPEG. So um, if you have any questions on this tutorial or any suggestions, just leave those below and I will try to get to those. Um, but yeah, this is a quick and easy way to make a really stylish and clean mood board. Um, feel free to have fun with these, you know, be creative, and I can't wait to see what you make. So thanks.